Hello everyone, today we're going to be examining a Christmas gift I got from my good buddy Mind Fiend, XCOM the Board Game. This right here is a cooperative game. It's made for one to four players, and as you see, it was created by Eric Lang. He's the designer. He's the one that also designed such games. He's got, I think, three in the top 100 on Board Games Geek. He's got Chaos in the Old World, he's got Arcadia Quest, and he's got Blood Rage, an all-time favorite on there. I think it's ranked, I think it's ranked number 16, maybe not, maybe even number 18 or 16. I can't remember which one at the moment on the Board Game Geek Top 100. Um, so yeah, Top 20 game. He's known for his dudes on a map game, as they call them. And XCOM here is not really any big exception. It is basically a board game version of the computer game. As you see, it is put out by... Uh, put out by uh, Fantasy Flight Games. And... Uh, also trademarks from 2K and Firaxis, of course. Flipping it over to have a look at the back here, you see the sectoid up there in the corner, very much like the, the one in the computer game itself. You can see the map there with the geoscape laid out, the dudes that you're going to be putting on the map, and a lot of cards and dice and other components. This is one of those games uh, that has come out. It requires a digital companion app. The companion app will be taking care of such things as uh, determining if, uh, determining um, what uh, UFOs and threats are going to be appearing on the map over here, keeping track of certain, uh, certain processes in the game and that sort of thing. The companion app is free. You can download it. I believe it might be on Steam. You can get it from the App Store. It runs on the Apple iOS system. It runs on Android, and you can get it on Google Play. It runs on Windows. They have versions for all of those, as you see there. So we are going to pop it open now, lay the board out, get our app going, and just show you what the game consists of. And here you go with the XCOM game set up, the board laid out. We've got our computer set up over here with the app playing on it. I definitely turn, need to turn the music down for whenever I'm actually playing here. I'll go into the menu and do that. As you see, you've got the main map board here in the center. It has such things as uh, what the current crisis card is, and we have a crisis deck, much like other co-ops and much like... Um, XCOM, the computer game, you have um, crises that happen at, during the, each turn. Here you have the threat, just like in the game, you have the various continents that as the threat level and their panic level, they continue up through the yellow and into the red and then over here into full panic. And if two of these end up over here in panic, you lose the game. Um, for this current scenario, we're going to be playing the tutorial scenario, and for it, your headquarters is set up here in Africa. Um, the headquarters has its own damage track right here with the damage button, damage token, and it goes all the way up. Another way to lose the game is if it gets all the way up here. If it gets all the way up here, your base is destroyed, and you lose the game. So many different ways to lose the game here. Right over here is orbit. This is where stuff like uh, UFOs end up. Whenever you deploy satellites into orbit, they go over here as well. Right here is kind of your geoscape, your tactical map. You see where you can uh, assign interceptors about the map to, uh, to try and shoot down UFOs and stuff. Um, what else have we got? Right up here is the threat track. This accounts the what level of threat you're currently working on and it goes one to five. Starts off up there in the one. I believe this is your research area to uh, what level of research you're working on right now. Right over here you have the mission deck and when you choose a mission the mission will be flopped over and put here to show what current mission you're working on. For the tutorial you have the alien objective here, and in this case, it is occupation. The way to win the game is at some point while you're playing the game, when you get to a, a, a the, have enough successes or get to a certain point, 
that will tell you to flip the card over and this is the final mission you must complete this mission in order to win the game down here I believe are the let me see what these are the base defense alright this shows you what aliens are in your base and how you have to defend against them you have the UFO tokens here that go on the board and show where the UFO presence is you have um, your research deck you have your alien deck and this is by no means all the aliens this is just the ones a select bunch that has been taken out for this particular uh, mission every scenario uses a different bunch of aliens as you see here there are a lot more that we are not using in this particular fight and then down here well of course you've got the app running here we're about to begin phase one the timed phase round one of the uh, tutorial mission come down you've got your dice you've got your credits you've got your success tokens you've got the four different players which are laid out here across the bottom um, obviously if you're playing one player you have to forehand it and play all four roles the first one is the commander he is in charge of funding crisis and global defense he's the one that sets he starts out with six interceptors and he decides where they go um, the central officer is the one who's in charge with the app he's the one that spawns the ufos on the board he sets out the the satellites on the board and keeps track of the threat level and informs the other players what the app is telling them to do the squad leader here he is responsible for choosing the missions deploying the soldiers and defending the base and as you see your assets you start with two snipers two heavies two assaults and two supports that you can do this in the middle is your recruitment pool you have four more soldiers and two interceptors to start with that you can recruit to add to your forces and then you get the chief scientist down here he is responsible for research and salvage and as you see he has eight research tokens okay so there you go that is an overview of the game shows you what it's all like laid out i am going to work my way through the tutorial mission and then once i get comfortable with the roles in the game and all we will play an actual game on easy level the thing on easy there's different levels there's easy medium and hard maybe even more than that i haven't dug into the app deeply yet but on easy level you have unlimited pause time uh, so during the time phase which we're fixing to go into over here your players have X amount of time you have like 30 seconds to get all your jobs done you have really hectic little you gotta bust ass and decide what you wanna do and as I say sometimes the best move is not the you know making the best move too late is not as good as making a move on time but on easy and like I said especially with being a brand new player and this is my first playthrough and all I would definitely be playing on easy mode so that we can so that we can uh, get unlimited pause time so there you go that is the components it's an absolutely beautiful game I'm hoping it's gonna be as fun as it looks and we will see you next time when we get ready to play it